hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys my wash day routine um this is going to be my updated wash day routine and this is going to be perfect for hair growth i have one it's on my channel already but i just wanted to update it for you guys now as you guys see my hair is super tangled so let's go ahead and get right into the wash day so the first thing I love to do when I'm starting my wash day is to drench my hair in water. I have mentioned this so many times on my channel. It's important to get your hair soaking wet for your wash day to actually be as beneficial as it's supposed to be. I'm also taking the Pink Honeysuckle Shampoo by Nourish by Chante and I'm going to put that on my hair. As you guys see, I'm pretty much massaging the shampoo into my scalp area and I'm not bringing it all the way down to the ends of my hair just because I like to make sure that I do not get the ends of my hair because the shampoo tends to typically run down to there anyways and also shampoos can kind of be a little bit harsh on the ends of your hair if you're using a super clarifying shampoo which I'm using today. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Nourish Fresh Chante Pink Honeysuckle Deep Conditioner and I'm just going to put that on my hair. This deep conditioner is so amazing. It leaves my hair feeling super soft. So it's one of my favorites. So I'm just going to put that all over my hair. The first thing I like to do is section my hair into sections so that I can make sure that I'm getting the entirety of my hair and all of my hair strands are covered in the deep conditioner. Because your deep conditioner is supposed to soften your hair, you do want to make sure that you're sectioning off your hair so that you don't um, have to worry about your hair not actually, the entirety of your hair not actually receiving the benefits of the deep conditioner. Now this deep conditioner that I'm using is very good at detangling the hair. So as you guys see, I'm pretty much separating my hair and detangling it as I go. So you guys have noticed in my wash days, I like to kind of do my detangling process this way just because it's more quicker and also once the deep conditioner pretty much sits on your hair for a little bit, the tangles melt itself away, especially if you're using a really good deep conditioner like I'm using here. Um, so definitely recommend that you do this if you can cut your deep conditioning time in half. As you guys can see, I have a lot of shed hair on my um, hands and that's just because my hair is getting so long guys. So a lot of my hair does, um, you know, a lot of the hair does tend to come out on wash day, but it's not like coming out in clumps or anything just to let you guys know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna allow my hair to sit in this deep conditioner to pretty much sit in my hair for about 15 minutes. You can do a longer deep condition if you want to do a more deeper deep conditioner. Um, but of course, I just did this quickly. So I washed that out of my hair and now we're gonna move on to the next step in my growth routine. So my original growth routine for washing my hair I actually use aloe vera on this step, but I didn't have aloe vera in the kitchen. And here comes Mariah, she's like making me laugh while I'm washing my hair. But I didn't have aloe vera while I was doing my actual wash day, so I said, okay, I'm gonna get Manuka honey and put it in my hair. Well, I put Manuka honey and turmeric in the mix, and I didn't really like it for my hair because it did leave a lot of um, like pieces in my hair and also, just didn't work as good as aloe vera does and it didn't bring as much shine surprisingly as aloe vera does so I recommend that if you're gonna do that step you would replace it with aloe vera as I normally do the manuka honey did work out a little but just not as good as aloe vera as you guys see, I took the Nourish by Chante No Separation 2-in-1 Conditioner and I just put it on top of the Manuka Honey and that's because I'm going to leave this in my hair for about 10 more minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and wash that out thoroughly and you want to make sure that you really, really wash your hair thoroughly if you're using the, the Manuka Honey. Whereas if you're using aloe vera, it's pretty much you just rinse it once and you don't have to really worry about, you know, rinsing it any more than that and honestly you can leave the aloe vera in your hair because aloe vera is that good and it's that light so i'm just taking the conditioner and i'm just pretty much putting it all over my hair strands because i want to make sure that that conditioner really gets on my hair strands because of the fact that i am going to leave this conditioner on as a leave-in 
So as you guys see, I used it as a regular conditioner, washed it out, and now I'm just putting it on again as an actual leave-in. So some people may want to just put the conditioner on and then leave a little bit in as a leave-in. But since I'm going to be ending up using this as an actual styler, I'm actually going to go in with the conditioner and put it all over my hair strands. Since this conditioner actually has exotic ingredients geared especially to hair growth, I'm actually putting it on my hair and I'm going to really leave it on and allow it to be kind of like my styler because I want it to really reap the benefits of this conditioner since there's so many great um you know ingredients in the conditioner which are extremely high in antioxidants and also packed with vitamins so for the last step i actually do um, take my growth oil and put it on my scalp and i also put it on the entirety of the hair so um, this is like my favorite step my last step that has been in my routine for many years is to put the oil on my hair um, while it's wet so that I can actually you know keep the benefits and the moisture into my hair so that's the finished product guys and now I'm just gonna allow my hair to air dry This is my hair. I actually um, waited a day before I showed you guys kind of like the finished product. Um, normally I wouldn't do this in a wash day routine video because it's really focused on actual wash day. But guys, I wanted to show you because I got super, super lazy when getting out of the shower and I did not feel like doing like a whole entire wash and go process which is like me actually putting on a cream and you know sectioning my hair and all that stuff. I just did not want to do that so I showed you guys that I leave in the angelic cocoa no separation two-in-one conditioner um, I actually left that in and I showed you guys in this video right here where I actually use that as a actual styler so I was like okay let me try that again so I actually used that no separation conditioner as a actual styler and I just put it on my hair like you guys seen in the video and then I put the angelic cocoa um, clear course jelly on top which is a very light gel and I just put that on top and this is the finished product so guys <laughs> I don't know like I love my hair right now. Normally on the first day, my hair is not this full and big. I think it's because I didn't really go too heavy on the gel this time. And I didn't even section my hair. I literally just put the gel on my hair as one and then defined some of the curls in the front. So I kept it really simple and this is the result that I came out with. Let me know down in the comment section how you like my hair. If, if you would actually style your hair this way. I normally don't just do conditioner and a gel. But with that no separation conditioner, I really have been doing that lately because... It, I don't know it's like working as actually a three-in-one rather than a two-in-one so it's actually working as an actual styler to my hair for some reason you guys that have purchased it let me know down below what you you know have you ever tried it like that hopefully you guys enjoyed this wash day like this video to let me know that you guys like this and I will actually do a wash and go video so let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well because I have been forgetting to let you guys know. So don't forget to click down below and subscribe to this channel. And also follow me on my social media. If you guys are on Instagram, go ahead and follow Shantae's Way on Instagram. Don't forget to actually interact with me over there. Give me a follow and also comment where you're from. Coming from YouTube, I like to know those type of things. Um, I'm just nosy like that. But I will see you guys in my next video. Um, hopefully this was helpful to you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.